does a bird have wings? Why does the rain come raining down? That's the nature of things. Why is the elephant big and strong? And why are the lions kings? Why is the giraffe's neck so long? That's the nature of things. Things of nature, nature of things, sometimes seem quite funny. Like what makes music when a robin sings, and what makes bees make honey? Why do the stars twinkle in the sky, and why does Saturn have rings? Why, oh, why does the flying fish fly? It's just the nature of things, that good old natural nature of things. Hi, everybody. You know, there's a lot of things that puzzle me. And when I'm puzzled, know what I do? I look it up in books. That's where I find out the answers to things. Now, today's subject is going to be about a ship. Not one that sails on the ocean, but one that cruises on land. It's the camel, called the ship of the desert. The name camel comes from the ancient Semitic word gamel, which means the carry. He is one of the oldest known mammals alive today. And there are only a few animals taller than the camel. But he wasn't always large. At one time, a camel was about the size of a rabbit. And do you know where he lived? Africa? Asia? Nope. Right here on the North American continent. That was about old. 50 or 60 million years ago. But this little camel didn't stay small. Gradually, he grew larger. Until he looked pretty much like a, <clears throat> a camel. During his later development, some of his family traveled north and across to Asia, where he developed into the two-hump camel. Mm -hmm. mm, uh, others, the single-hump camel, went south to Africa. And eventually, the camel vanished from North America. Although the camel is a strange-looking beast, he's an engineering marvel designed to fit a certain type of life, the desert. Let's look at him as if he were a blueprint. To get a head start, let's start with the head. Now, camel's eyes are set high up for good viewing. And in a windstorm, Long eyelashes act as windshields. His nostrils close up to keep out the dust. For nipping tough roots and thorns, he has big front teeth. Sharp, too. His long neck was designed to reach high branches and low shrubs. Now here's the most wonderful thing about the camel, his built-in water storage system. It's amazing. Why, he can hold enough moisture in his body to last for about nine days. And that hump on his back, know what it is? It's his lunchbox. And it sometimes contains as much as 80 pounds of fat. On a long journey without much food, the hump dwindles away. But he can grow a new one in three or four months. Now let's look at the long legs, designed for big steps. And those feet, Wow! They're huge two-toed pods, built like snowshoes. But without them, he'd sink in the sand. Oh, uh, sorry, Junior. Oh, well, since he's down, this brings up a point. A camel kneels like this to rest. So, to protect him from the rough ground, he's designed with chest and knee pads. Then, to cover him from the desert sun, as well as the cold, nature gave him a coat of fine hair. But all this designing wasn't done overnight. No siree. It took millions of years. It was a long time before man discovered the real value of the camel. It was only a few thousand years ago that a saddle was put on his hump. And the ship of the desert was born. But he wasn't easy to navigate, because he paces. That is, he picks up both legs on one side of his body at the same time. 
And this action makes him roll, like a ship. How about a ride? Okay, let's go. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Whoa, steady now. Well, now aside from the camel's carrying ability, it has other values. Camel milk is an important part of the Arab's diet. Fabrics are woven from the camel's hair and made into clothing and tents. Even the artist's fine brush is made from camel hair. Hey now, watch it, let go. Oh yes, I forgot to tell you, he also has a, a bad temper. In spite of the camel's cantankerous exterior, within it shows a mother love for child that is unsurpassed in the animal world. The young camel, called calf or colt, stays close to its mother for about a year or so. After the fourth year, the camel is taught to kneel, to rise, and to carry loads. Loading the camel starts with a pack saddle. The animal groans and complains, even before the 500-pound cargo is tied on. Once started, the camel patiently carries his pack all day at three or four miles per hour. A string of camels, called a caravan, travels across the desert carrying goods and people from city to city. Now the riding or racing camel, named dromedary, is larger and faster than the stocky pack animal and only the expert can take the jogging pace the beast sets. Some say that since biblical times, this great burden bearer has been man's most useful animal. And even today, man with all his mechanized skill has not been able to completely replace the ship of the desert. But you know, there's something I don't understand. How come he has a built-in lunchbox and <laughs> I have to carry mine. Oh, well, <laughs> that's just the nature of things. That good old natural nature of things.